Today's election day across Nashville. Voters have two more hours to cast their ballots for the city's next mayor. It'll either be Metro Council member Freddie O'Connell or businesswoman Alice Rowley. So we want to check in with both candidates' campaigns right now. Our Courtney Allen is following the story for us. Okay, you just talked to Franny, uh, Freddie O'Connell minutes ago, Courtney. How did that go? That's right, Lauren. I've been following along with Freddie O'Connell this afternoon, and he says that he is going to be out at the polls until they close tonight at 7. Now, we caught up with him at one of those polling locations earlier this afternoon. This was at Hillsboro Presbyterian Church. He says that it's been a long day, and quite frankly, it's been a long election, but overall, he's feeling good. He has been a Metro Council member representing downtown since 2015, and he believes his experience in that role makes him the best candidate to fill the mayor's office. So, what if he wins tonight? We asked him that question. We asked him what his top priority would be. Here's what O'Connell had to say. I've been one of the many Nashvillians that I think if you ask me the question over the past few years of is Nashville on the right track or the wrong track, it's harder to say that we're on the right track than it used to be. I'd love over the next four years to show that Metro is working for Nashvillians, that we are focused on a Nashville for Nashvillians, that we're tackling cost of living issues and quality of life issues so that in four years we can all say together that we're back on the right track. O'Connell's official watch party is over at Eastside Bowl. That starts at 7, the same time that polls close. We're heading over to Eastside Bowl, and we'll bring you a live report from that location tonight at 6. Marius? Sounds good, Courtney. Thank you. And across town, our Danielle Jackson is at Alice Rowley's camp. And Danielle, how are people there feeling with results just hours away? Well, Marius, I can tell you that they just got finished setting up, and I'm here inside of Plaza Mariachi, where Alice Rowley Election Party is headquartered tonight. You can see behind me, uh, Rowley is at front and center on the stage. Now, I talked with Rowley's spokesperson, and he says they've had a full day at the polls. He says the campaign feels good about tonight. He went on to say now it's just ultimately up to the voters to decide if they want a different direction for, the, for Nashville. Now, from 6 to 7 p.m., Rowley will spend the last hour of Election Day at Weston Middle School getting voters greeting voters there. The election party kicks off as soon as the polls close at 7 p.m. Now, of course, we'll be here tonight as those election results come in live in Nashville. I'm Danielle Jackson for WSMV4. Danielle, thank you. And the mayor's race isn't the only election we have our eye on right now. The most competitive race of the night could be for Metro Council. There are seven council seats up for grabs right now, four at large seats as well as districts 4, 11, and 29. Across these races, candidates from two influential organizations are squaring off with pro business group endorsing one slate of candidates and the progressive organization Nashville Justice League endorsing a second group. There's also an election for a seat in the state house tonight. Activist and Democrat Afton Bain is the favorite against Republican David Hooven in District 51, which has voted blue in every election for at least the last 10 years. Tonight at 6, we're going to take you to the polls. You'll hear from one voter with a message on the importance of local elections. Remember, you still have time to vote because polls don't close until 7. All you need is your photo ID.